Hey everyone, you're watching We Had That. Today I'm going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Real American Hero Falcon action figure, also known as Lieutenant Falcon, who came out in 1987 as part of the sixth wave of G.I. Joe. By 1987, I really wasn't as interested in G.I. Joe as I had been, and part of the reason for that was Hasbro was releasing a lot of figures that I just didn't feel looked like soldiers. For example, just before this wave, you had the character Sci-Fi. Just after this wave, you had the character Windmill. Neither of those guys looked like I thought a soldier should look. But when I first saw Falcon, I thought, now that's what they should have been putting out this whole time. I wish that Falcon had come out in wave two or three so that I could have gotten a lot more of an opportunity to play with this figure than I did. The figure himself is really cool. He comes with a beret with a patch on it. He's got his patch on his shoulder, which is unfortunately, and I'll try and get a, a close-up shot, it's unfortunately upside down. I'm not sure why Hasbro didn't do the research to get the patch on correctly, but that's a very small problem with an otherwise very cool figure. If you check out his backpack, it looks very similar to the backpacks worn by a lot of the soldiers in Vietnam. There was a removable antenna that came out of the back, which often gets lost or broken on these figures. There were a couple of canteens and a spool of rope molded to the outside. And there was a knife that you could remove from the backpack and use as one of Falcon's weapons. It's a very detailed knife, and I always thought that removable weapons attached to the backpacks were a really cool bonus in my G.I. Joe figures. His other main weapon was a shotgun. I honestly would have preferred an M16, uh, but the fact that it was a shotgun wasn't that big of a deal. It's just this particular model added uh, an extra handle that seemed unnecessary. I'm sure that the reason Hasbro did that was so that the figure could hold the gun more easily, but it was put in such a strange place that it just didn't seem to make sense. And plus, Falcon could hold the shotgun just fine by the handle that actually was the handle for the shotgun. But that's a minor complaint. With his cool gear and awesome accessories, Falcon was exactly what I wanted out of a military action figure as a kid, and I wish G.I. Joe had made more figures that looked like real soldiers. So what did you think of Falcon as a kid? Who was your favorite G.I. Joe? Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know. Also, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and share the video on social media so that other people can check it out. One last thing before I go, if you're a fan of toys, you should know about Toylanta, the biggest toy show in the southeastern United States held annually just north of Atlanta, Georgia. Check out Toylanta.com for more information. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>